Hey, this is Ruben Lowing here in McAllen, Texas. It's my leadership talk today. I have a seven step to do at five o'clock today. And it's an impromptu. I held a seven step yesterday and I got two attendees and they're both pretty good. There's all kinds of interesting things. One of them has a little one. A uh, little boy, not quite two, and uh, he's a handful, which is to be expected, right? And he couldn't pay attention all the way, but I got to follow up with him. The other one was right there with me every step, man, and uh, I got to follow up with him um, tomorrow with Bernadette Kim, right? And this is a good. This this is he's very excited about it, right? Um, has knows a lot of people, bilingual, all right, it's, uh, it's all good, all right? Now, I'm going to, I have an associate that has loaded me up with contacts, and it's the, really the oddest thing. A lot of them, I talk, I mention her name, and they don't know who she is, right? But I can get rapport with them right, very quickly. I've got, um over 20 in the counter for her. I will have 30 in the counter for her um, by the end of today. Okay. and uh, But I, like I talked about the other day, these, this whole process works so smooth when you do it right. You, you, you uh, edify the trainer and you know, you, you know, it, it's, if you're already, you know, in associate, you've got your license, you've, uh, or you're, you're, you've ordered the test, whatever, and you're, you scheduled your test and, uh, you're studying and you, you're, you've got something, okay? You got some, you've got a product, right? Then your, your odds go way up, very, right? just phenomenal. And, uh, but it's, it's, it's knowing that, right? It's like knowing what fruit to pick. It's, you know, the, if it's, if it's not ripe yet, you can't pick it. So, but you just pick the fruit that's ripe and move to the next one. All right. But you, you keep an eye on that one that's still hanging there. And that's what happened here. I just kept touching, kept talking to this lady and, you know, being encouraging, and um, what's really funny is what's happening is her business is going to happen no matter what she does, okay, and that that bends people's minds, they've never seen anything like it, right, and uh, a lot of people will give you like a throwaway lead, these are kind of like that, you know, um, you know, it's like they stick, you know, the relationship's not there. It's like them sticking their finger in a glass of water and taking it out. And if they if they don't do anything. But if they do do something, now you got something to look out for. But the, the idea is, okay, then it gives them confidence to now let's go talk to the people that I'm close to. Okay, this is, this works. This works for people who don't know me. Let's see how it works for people that do know me. And then, oh man. If you listen to Grant Cardone, he's like, you got to get out of your association. You've got to get out. You've got it. And most people can't break through. You, they cannot break through their, their warm market. And it, and it, it's, it, it pulls them down like the crabs in the bucket. All right. And you just got to break through, which I've done. You got to be persistent, and that's what does it. You got to know what you got, all right? And when you know what you got, it comes across, all right? All right. And, we, you know, there's so many people who know, that they just don't know. They don't know anything. They don't know anything at all, and they're smart people. They're, they know what they, they know their business, they know their job like cold, but 
and that's where so many people are focused on is making that money, right? You know, th- using what they know to make make money to survive. Okay, and what they got to do and they got to understand is they've got to learn what they don't know, so they can't. They're not just surviving; they're thriving. All right, and and what's wild is uh, I was not a big fan of Grant Cardone after listening to him a couple times, but then I've started, you know, paying attention, right? And he's like, yeah, a million, a millionaire, you don't, you don't want to be listening to millionaires. You want to be listening to multimillionaires and billionaires, okay? And, and you need to have, be more than a millionaire or you're not going to make it. How about that? That, that's a, uh, what is her name? In El Paso, she says, hey, I know you're in trouble. We're all in trouble. You don't have more than a million, you're in trouble. All right.